to another vlog my name is Whitney J and if you're new here welcome to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back this is the first vlog of 2023 and I am happy to be posting the goal for this year is to be consistent and I know that I can because I literally just did 25 consistent days of posting for vlogmas so if I can post 25 days in a row then I know I can post at least once a week so that's the plan so the one day that you guys will see me every single week, regardless, will be Mondays. Every single Monday you guys will see me. Um, I'm gonna be posting at 3 p.m. on Mondays. And every once in a while you might see me post an extra video here and there, like if I have an idea or something. But aside from that, Mondays are the days that I'm gonna be posting. So right now it's currently like 7.55 p.m. I have a few minutes to chit chat with you guys before I go into work here. So I just wanted to like talk to you guys for a bit and tell you what's going on. So I'm doing a 12 hour shift, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. But before I actually get into work and like taking you guys with me and stuff, I'm gonna put in some clips from just the past couple days that I've recorded but not really had a chance to like throw in an actual vlog. So here are the previous clips. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. I have not seen you guys in like a week. <laughs> well, that sounds freaking dramatic. Technically, it's not been a week, but by the time you guys see this, it will have been like a week since you guys have seen me on here. If you've been keeping up with me, you know that your girl has completed Vlogmas. I did an entire 25 days of vlogging, posting, recording, editing. I was literally on it every single day and I posted every single day. Now, I won't say that my content throughout the 25 days of Vlogmas was like, super extravagant or like you know have a lot going on with it and stuff like that for me vlogmas was just about getting on here doing it and staying consistent and sticking to my word as some of you may know i have been on youtube for about three years now um and i will say that I think that my channel is kind of like at a steady pace, if that makes any sense. So within the first year of me having my channel, I did reach my 1000 subscriber goal, as well as I met the threshold to be monetized very quickly just as well. And I have been since shortly after me starting my channel, which I'm super, super thankful for. But if I'm being completely real, your girl has not had a big bunch of growth. Like, I think that I have consistently been at around 2,000 subscribers for quite a while now. And don't get me wrong, I do get subscribers and stuff like that, but it's not like big increases. It's like a little bit here and there. But you know what, that's not a problem to me. I have told myself before that I would rather have a small amount of loyal subscribers than I would to have a large amount of subscribers who don't really care about me, but they only care about what I post. And right about now, when it comes to my YouTube journey, I will say that I definitely, definitely, definitely have a small community of people who care about me. They care about me and what I'm doing, what me and the boys have going on and like my actual life. They don't really care about what I'm posting, if that makes sense. And not in a way of, oh, I don't care what she posts, but no, like more so like, I like Whitney J for who she is. I'm gonna watch whatever she posts because I fuck with her. Like that's what my subscribers give me. And I sincerely appreciate that. Going into 2023, the goal is for me to stay as consistent as I did with Vlogmas. And no, no, I'm not gonna be vlogging every single day or trying to post every single day. That's just unrealistic for me, especially as a full-time mom, a full-time worker. Um, I, I just can't, like it's just, it's too much for me. So that being said, I'm going to come up with two posting days that I'm going to post a week. I would like for me to post at the same day and time whenever I do post. So that's really what I'm trying to figure out. I believe this video that you guys are seeing right now is going to be posted on New Year's Day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just because it's the start of the week. On top of that, it's the start of the year. Um, it's on a Sunday. Like, I just feel like that is so convenient, so good for a fresh new start. And I don't mean fresh new start as in like I'm doing anything to my channel, like as far as my old videos and stuff, because I'm definitely not deleting them or anything. But what I mean by a fresh new start is 
a fresh new point for me to be consistent, a fresh new point for me to just unapologetically be me. And I guess you could say a space to just be more open. I have a few different video ideas in mind that I would like to try out this upcoming year. Um, maybe even thinking about bringing some other people onto my channel just to do videos with and just so much more stuff that I have in mind. Not only that, I've been working on some budgeting so I might like give you guys information about what I'm doing as far as my budgeting and how I'm saving up for certain stuff that I would like to do. Just so much. But yeah, per usual, I have started to talk and run my mouth. So I need to go ahead and get off of here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see around me, but I am literally in standstill traffic. For whatever freaking reason, these people decided to send me to work on the beach. And if you are from the area that I'm from, you know that the traffic on the beach is fucking hell. If I have any new subscribers on my channel, I'm sorry for the lack of information. I feel like there's some stuff that you don't know. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say this real quick. My name is Whitney J. I'm a mom of three boys. I live in Florida, born and raised. I've been here my entire life, never lived anywhere else. The general area that I live is basically Bradenton, um, but I live about 30 minutes away from the beach. Really, really about 45 if you want to be technical with traffic. Even could possibly even be an hour with how this traffic gets sometime. But I love it. I love Florida. I love where I live. I love the hot weather. We are currently going through a cold front over here right now and I'm fucking freezing. Literally. Like I have my heater on high. Well, it's not on high right now because I wanted to talk to you guys and you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me if I'd had it on high, but when I turn this camera back off, the heat will be going right back on high because I'm used to hell weather. I, I'm from Florida, born and raised. I literally have never even seen snow or been in snow or anything else like that before, like never. But yeah, at this point, I'm gonna just shut up because I feel like I am talking hell of a lot. Um, I feel like I'm talking so much. And if I'm being super, super honest, I'm probably gonna try to figure out some type of montage to put in the video before this clip right here because who the fuck just gets onto a video and starts talking and just like running their mouth? Like normally people get on here and they'll do a little cute little intro and stuff like that and tell what's going on in the video and then they'll jump into the video and start talking about whatever. But I have a video of opening up the vlog like, hey guys, and then I just go talking, saying whatever I gotta say. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, for real, for real, guys. I'm about to get off of here. Um, it's currently December 27th. By the time you guys see this, it will be New Year's. So happy New Year's. I hope everyone's 2022 went great. But I hope your 2023 goes even better than your 2022 did. So that being said, I'm about to get off of here for the 5th, 11 millionth time. And I'll talk to you guys later. When I tell y'all stand still traffic, I legitimately mean that. Like, what the fuck? Like, as y'all clearly see, we're not moving. I don't understand. And now that you guys have seen that, I'm about to go ahead and go into work. So let's go. You got a queen. It's rules. Okay. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna be talking quick just because I completely forgot to get back on camera. So tonight's 12 hour shift has not been hard at all. It's been very simple. Um, I've only had one person obviously because it is in home care and it's, like I said, it's been pretty, pretty simple as far as my shift goes. I got here at 8, me and the patient stayed up until about 1 something until she wanted to go to bed. After I put her to bed, I stayed up watching Sisters. It's by Tyler Perry. Um, it has like five seasons with 20 something episodes each. I wanted to talk to y'all about that, but I don't have enough time right now, so I'm not going to. But tell me below if y'all have been watching that because I am into it. Apparently it came out in like 2019, 2020. But I'm just not finding out about it and I'm a fucking obsessed. I think I'm on episode 21 right now. So, yeah. 
I have another shift after this one. Um, this one ends at 8 o'clock a.m. And then my next shift starts at 9 a.m. And I don't get off until 3 p.m. So, of course, I'm going to be taking you guys. So, yeah. That's just what's going on right now. I just wanted to give you guys an update before I actually leave here. So, yeah, that's what this is. I've actually been to this patient's house quite a few times. So, um, I'm pretty familiar with it. And I was supposed to be talking to you guys, kind of just letting you know how I felt throughout the night. But... Mm -hmm. For me, it's easy to stay up through the night. It's not hard at all because I've been doing it for like five years now. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next clip. All right, it's currently 8.07 and the person who's supposed to be here to relieve me is not here yet. It's extremely aggravating because the plan is for me to go stop somewhere to get something to eat and some coffee before I go to my next person. But it depends on how long that takes. She literally walked in <laughs> as I was talking to y'all. Oh, but I'm out. What can I make for you? Oh, can I please get a small, um, the frozen coffee? Yeah. The vanilla flavored one? Yeah. And then can you add the cookie butter flavoring to that? What do you mean the cookie butter? The cookie butter cold foam? No, you guys have flavoring. Uh, no, it's the brown coffee, the one now. What's, oh, I'm sorry, what was coffee. that? What was that? Can you repeat that, please? Brown butter coffee. Brown butter coffee. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. Brown, brown. It's the new syrup that's on the thing. Did you, you guys try it in there or no? No, I don't. But I'm asking, do you have the one that I just mentioned? No, I don't. Okay, thank you. It was like that, that okay. simple. Got it. Um, just a second. One bacon avocado toast. Okay. That was with bacon. Yep. Um, do you guys have the strawberry donut? Yeah, we do. With sprinkles? How much was it? Um, it's like 10 something. 10 dollars and change. Can you like tell me the amount so I can give you the change? Because I have change. 10, 13. 13, okay. Like, I don't like this douchebag. There you go. Can I also get the receipt, please? Thank you. Can I also please get my full serving of bacon? What? Can I also get my full serving of bacon that's supposed to be on there? It's only two pieces of bacon supposed to be on there, ma'am. That's what it comes with. Sir, the bacon isn't even cut up how it's supposed to be, what I'm, is what I'm saying. It's supposed to be all over the toast. Oh my god. I don't like being a like problem person, but like why do y'all wanna skip out on people's food? Thank you. Alright, y'all. Before anybody comments, I'm not the difficult person that comes to like restaurants wanting extra of this and that. I promise to God I'm not. But at least do me right. Like, don't just sit here and do me any type of fucking way just because you don't want to be here or whatever. And the dude, just from the way he's moving and, like, body language and stuff, it just seems like he just don't want to be there. Like, he couldn't tell me the total of the food. He had a funky attitude when I was asking him about the, like, cookie butter flavoring, which I don't understand why they don't have it because I was just at Dunkin literally a couple days ago when they just had it but nonetheless whatever it is what it is if you didn't have it anymore instead of trying to suggest whatever other item y'all have just simply tell me we're out of that item ma'am like is that is that easy stop trying to like convince me to get some other item just because it sits right with your brain I don't know I didn't get a good vibe from him at all I just I don't he even had a funky attitude when I asked him for the bacon he's like it's only supposed to be two pieces of bacon I should have showed you guys before I even handed it back to him but there was people behind me the bacon was this big the pieces of bacon were this long there were two slices on there yeah but the bacon pieces were that long if you're gonna tell me oh there's only supposed to be two slices of bacon at least let me see that there's two full slices of bacon you guys are trying to cheat people out of their food and not give them the full amount so that y'all don't have to make the product. But that's fucked up. You ain't even put whipped cream on top of my frozen freaking coffee. Damn asshole. I'm not gonna lie, when people give me shitty attitudes like that and I haven't done a damn thing to them, I've been wanting to cuss them the fuck out. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't need a bitch spitting in my food or anything crazy or sort like that and yes i'd be thinking like that because i've seen so many videos and articles about people doing some crazy off the wall shit when it comes to like fast food places 
so I try not to even say much, but I'm also going to like speak up for myself. And I'm not even going to lie, if this was a Dunkin' that was like closer to where I live, I will most definitely, definitely, definitely be calling back to talk to a manager so I can get a whole free meal. Yes, a whole free meal, because I feel like customer service is everything. You never know who's coming to your window. You, you just never know. But yeah, anyways, y'all, I am on the road, and although traffic is clear, I don't live in this area. This is in a whole nother city, and I just would rather have my GPS on and talking to me while I do this. So yeah, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna put my GPS on. I'm gonna go to my next person's house, and when I get there, I guess I'll give you guys an update. Hopefully, I get there a little bit early so I can go ahead and eat this stuff. Um, yeah, not really much more to say, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. I really wish you guys could see how foggy it is, but it's not showing. Okay, y'all, it's 8.48 in the morning, and I am here. I have about mm, seven or eight minutes to just sit here for a little bit. Um, probably start eating my food. The thing about doing private duty is it's not like the facilities. You don't have to go in there a little bit earlier to, like, your shift report because it's only one person that you're usually caring for unless they send you to a double case for like a husband and wife or i've even gotten before where a set of sisters they needed somebody to care for them they weren't a long time patient of mine or anything like that um i only went to them like two times i think i filled in for somebody is what happened because it was like two saturdays in a row or something like that um but yeah it's not it's not it's not anything like working in the facility which i absolutely love that only thing about this home health thing is that some people think that it means that you could just come in at any given time which yes sometimes the people who do the staffing for us they will adjust the schedule like say for example if they need someone to come in from like 9 a.m to 5 p.m but that person isn't available until like 11 a.m they will adjust the shift from that to like 11 a.m to 7 p.m like they need it to be or something like they're very helpful in like understanding when it comes to people having to do stuff but still needing to get their hours so yeah they will do that but when you have these 24 hour shifts like i like to go to the shift times is normally set it's normally set people come in and leave at this exact same time for this person like the one i went to last night she was 8 p.m to 8 a.m so that being said anybody coming in has to come in at eight o'clock unless it's something like they discuss with the agency hey i have something to do can you see if the person that's already there would be able to stay but that's not just something you can just do on your own like you can't just decide okay well i'm going to work at nine today instead of eight like you can't do that and i think with some of these girls they get hired onto these agencies and think it's i do what i want to do and sure when it comes to individual clients who like don't have round the clock care okay cool do what you want to do on your shift when nobody else is waiting for you to come and relieve them but when you have somebody waiting to come and relieve you come in on time like you're supposed to it's so easy but yeah right about now i'm just like refixing my backpack and all that putting my stuff back in it um on the last shift that i was on i ended up taking some stuff out and like putting it in different areas and all that good stuff so yeah i'm just putting it back in i have to walk it's literally a less than a minute walk but i have to walk from the little guest parking area that i am in right now to the person's place so yeah um I want everything in this backpack so I don't have anything in my hands. I also have my donut and I have my, this is not a donut, wow, why did I pull this up? I also have my avocado toast and I have my donut um, and I still have some of my drink, which this, the most disgusting thing ever, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with that flavoring, but it just tastes like he put black coffee into the blender with a splash of creamer and some ice and just blended it together. Like it doesn't taste like there's freaking flavoring in there at all. And it pisses me off. Y'all gotta use the bathroom. I feel like my freaking bladder is the size of a child's the way that I have to go to the bathroom so damn often. Like it makes no sense. It is annoying for someone like me who likes to drink water constantly throughout the day. Like that is so freaking annoying. 
Like sometimes I even wake up out of my sleep just to go to the bathroom. Like, and that sounds freaking ridiculous. That sounds so ridiculous. Like, <laughs> and of course I'm not just gonna lay there and piss on myself. Like, ugh, that's fucking disgusting. But it's just the principle. Like, I could be sleeping good, warm, having an amazing dream, and next thing you know, my brain is like, uh, mm, no, get up, girl. You gotta go to the bathroom. Like, what? <laughs> That is so annoying. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to get out of this car. I have to use the bathroom. Um, it's not even time for the shift yet, but I'm about to go up there. I'm gonna clock in early and I'm gonna use the bathroom because girl, I gotta go so bad. Hey y'all, so I have been here for about an hour and I did wanna come and give you a slight update. I am kind of irritated right now. Um, to say the least, sometimes you get people that are just rude as hell. So this morning for this shift in particular, I actually ended up clocking in five minutes late because from the moment I walked in the door, the person that I am caring for today, his wife immediately started going at me. Now, I know she wasn't cussing me out or anything like that, but she definitely like bombarded me, like saying stuff like, oh, well, last time you weren't here, you didn't do this, this, and this. And when I tell you to do something, you need to listen to me and Blah, blah, blah. she just was going in on stuff and like I couldn't even get in a second to say hey maybe you're confusing me with somebody else like she laid out all her stuff before I could even pause to say that she just was going in now mind you guys I've only been to this person's house one time one time last week that's it I've never been here before aside from that um apparently this person I don't know if they just started with the company or if they just came back in town and started back up them or what, but apparently over the course of the last week since I've been here, they've had like four or five different people here. Okay, cool. So with four or five different people here, you're looking at me and pinpointing me as the one who didn't do this and that. Mind you, we get a list of stuff that we're supposed to do for the client and they tell us on orientation every single time with any company that I've worked for. You're here to care for this specific person. You're not here to care for the wife. And like I told you guys before, yes, they sometimes do have husband and wife cases, but this is not one of them. So in this particular client, the only thing it says for me to do is companionship, which is talk to him, like sit there with him and stuff like that. Um, it says to give him a shower and it says to feed him. Those three things. It doesn't say clean up the whole kitchen, clean up the whole bathroom, sweep the whole trailer, mop the whole trailer. Like it doesn't say all that. But last time I was here, because I knew their situation and that they were like just coming back in town, um, I went ahead and did that for her when she asked me to. Um, I'm very understanding when it comes to like working with people in the home and stuff. And I understand that sometimes it can get overwhelming being the only one person to care for them. But you don't get to come talk to me any type of way telling me what I did and did not do and then still expect me to do that for you like no that's not how it works so what I did was I politely called the agency and I told them to take me off of this case now last week when I came here it was supposed to be like a one-time thing only but apparently something happened to the point where they needed someone to come once a week for this person um well on this particular day I should say that he he has more shifts that he does get care for, but this is the one shift that they needed someone for. So I went ahead and said, yes, I will come back, which today is the first day back since I agreed. Okay, today makes my second day here. With all of that, you would think that the person would like be kind and, you know, be respectful, especially because all the stuff that she's asking me to do is not in his care plan at all. But no, she was rude. So since she was so rude and nasty about it, I went ahead and just let her talk, say her stuff. The only thing I really did say, well, I think you're getting me confused with someone else. That's the only thing I got a chance to say after she said all her stuff. And yeah, nonetheless, I called the agency. I told them to take me off of this shift because I'm not dealing with it. I have worked with plenty of people within this like field who they don't have any cleaning stuff in their care plan. But because the person is nice and respectful, and they know how to like treat a person. I went ahead and did certain little stuff like around the house that they ask. But when you got a person like this, that's rude. Mm -mm. You don't get to talk to me any type of way and then expect me to do this, this and that. And I don't know what the fuck happened between last week and this week that she's acting like that. But don't take it out on me. Last week when I was here, she was nice, she was sweet and everything else. In between then, like I said, 
she said she's had four or five different people from the agency come okay? i don't know if something happened with one of them maybe one of them didn't do what they were supposed to do or what or maybe she's upset because the agency keeps sending different people i don't know but you <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna say this when you get on a case most people i'm just say this when you get into this home health like this home health world a lot of people like to stay with the same clients because they want to drive to the same place and be in a consistent spot. They don't want to be driving all these different places. That's how most of us are. The only time you get a person like that we have to care for that can't keep a consistent caregiver is when either the client is difficult or they have someone in their household that is difficult. That's it. Because these people pay good, the hours are consistent and everything else if you can't keep a caregiver it's because of a problem and i've been here last week and of course today the husband no issues no problems nothing he's a nice sweet man he don't ask for much he'll open his mouth when he needs or wants something but he's chill he likes to sit back and watch tv her she don't show her true self today and i'm not dealing with it so because of her he won't have me as a caregiver. I, I'm sorry. I don't care how sweet he is. If I have to come and deal with her every time I come here, that's going to stress me and give me anxiety. And I'm not doing it. So, yeah, I feel like I've been rambling. Um, I still have not even eaten my breakfast yet. So, I'm going to go sit down and eat that. Um, probably in about an hour, hour and a half, I'm going to give him a shower. Then I'm going to give him his lunch. And after that, I'm going to sit on my ass until she gets back. I'm going to edit my video. I'm probably going to watch a couple episodes of Sisters and that's it. I am not going to stress myself because this will be the last time I come here and she won't have to worry about seeing me again. Now, how do you come from the north, do you? No, um, from Sarasota. Okay. St. Armand Circle? Yeah, over that way. Hey, y'all. So it is 1231. I have given the man a shower and... Now I'm about to just really do nothing to be completely honest. If I'm being completely 100% real, I would like to just go watch Sisters. Like I'm so freaking hooked on the show right now so it makes no sense. But I know that I need to be consistent on YouTube and really work for what I want. So that being said, when I finish in this bathroom, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna edit this vlog. I put my hair up while I was giving him a shower because it got hella hot and not to just leave it up now because you know it's getting frizzy for some reason but um yeah I'm gonna stop talking because there's not really much to talk about this vlog is already hella long so I'll talk to you guys later all right and we're going down Okay, y'all, so my phone only has 10% left, so I'm going to talk very quickly. My shift is now over. Um, I had a really, really good talk with a person who I had to take care of today, and honestly, I won't even lie. I'm kind of sad that I won't be going back to him anymore. Um, he actually is a very, very sweet man. I love having a conversation with him and everything, but his wife, mm -mm, no, she's not. I'm not dealing with her. And I won't even lie, I contemplated calling the office back and telling them, hey, never mind, I'll just go ahead and just suck it up and deal with her, like, attitude or whatever. But when she got back, she had a funky-ass attitude again, and I almost told her something. I really almost did. So she told me to make her bed a certain type of way or whatever, in which, like I told y'all earlier, I wasn't doing it just because she had a crappy attitude and just demanding stuff that I was not even supposed to be doing. Well, long story short, I didn't do one of the things and I communicated with her so when I got back. Hey, all this has been done, but this has not been done. And instead of her just saying, okay, or going along with it, she just says the stankin' ass attitude, failure to communicate, failure to communicate. Like girl, fuck you. Heavy on a fuck you. 
know how to communicate shit with you. I'm here to take care of your goddamn husband, not you and your funky ass attitude. Go to hell, lady. Please go to hell, cause I'm not. I'm not doing with it. <laughs> it just really bothers me when people have such shitty attitudes that the person that they are trying to get care for can't even be taken care of properly. And don't take that as me saying like I wasn't taking care of him properly. I mean that in an aspect of. You have caregivers like myself who are not going to deal with your shit and will literally not come back to your place ever again. And the more caregivers you have that are not willing to come here and work for you is the less likely you are to have coverage for your shifts that you are requesting for people to come out here for you. On top of the fact that this shit is far as fuck. I mean, yeah, they pay extra for mileage and even gave me like a bonus or whatever because of the simple fact that it's a far shift, but baby... Fuck this goddamn lady with her stinking ass. I don't, uh-uh, mm -mm, no. Nope. I'll talk to y'all in the next vloggy vlog.